Hey everyone, this week we are having a little bit of fun, isn't that right? You might be from Lancaster, if is our topic this week. I'm Mary Sue Wolf. And I'm Derek Webb, of course. And together we are Wolf, Wolf and Webb. Webb. The key. The key. To your next move. To your next move. All right, let's have is some there fun, an echo Derek. In here? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so just like many small towns and, and interesting and quirky areas, Lancaster is no stranger to having its own quirks. Nice. My opinion, I've lived in many places and I think <laughs> Lancaster might have the most, but we love them, actually. I think too. <laughs> so if you're not familiar, so um, let's say you're from here, this should be funny. And if you're not from here, hopefully it's funny if we explain them correctly. Is that right? Yeah, I'll go with that. So, all right, why don't you grab the first one So, there. you might be from Lancaster if, if someone asked you if you were Amish when you say you're from Lancaster. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're Amish. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not always, right? Okay, yes. Um, okay, so here's a fun one. Pie as a main course dish is totally normal. Everyone out west is going, what? It's so true. <laughs> yeah, okay, so chicken pot pie, spaghetti pie, cheeseburger pie. I mean, there's probably more. Yep. When I first moved here, I, I was invited to someone's house for dinner. Actually, it's my mother-in-law who made it, and I thought she was kind of like nuts because it was chicken pot pie, and it was noodles mm -hmm. and sauce and nothing yeah, so pie-ish about it. Another way to put it is, <laughs> like, you know that real chicken pot pie has nothing to do with pie. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so, you might be from Lancaster if you think of shopping at the mall and not skiing when you hear the words, I'm going to Park City. That's the name of our mall, just in mm, case you're Park curious. Park City, not Utah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't share this one at the supper table, okay? But um, you might be from I Lancaster if start with this. you are a manure expert. In fact, by smell alone, you can tell whether it came from a pig, a cow, or a chicken. <laughs> Should we explain this? No. <laughs> or should we just leave it as a mystery to our watchers? For a while. Because all of the Lancaster people are probably laughing like uh, that right yep. now. Okay. Okay. So That's all right, a good one. we should explain. So no. in short, there's a lot of beautiful farmland around here, and there are times of year that that beautiful farmland needs to be fertilized. You might be from Lancaster if you've ever bought roadside produce from an honor box, as we call it. So I love I, doing yeah. that. Yeah, really, that's one of, it's, to me, this is like America. It's why I live here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because literally they have like a coffee tin outside yeah. and you just put your money in and take your produce and drive away. Yeah, it looks like an old antique shelf or something yeah. sitting out there and they've got tomatoes and corn and the you bottom know, line flowers is maybe. They and, trust you. Well, yeah, they nice trust story. you. Yeah, slip a couple bucks in there. This is the most important one we should probably be starting with. You know how to correctly pronunciate Lancaster. It's not Lancaster. It's Lang Kister. There you Lancaster. go. Lancaster. That's right. That's an important if one. If you say started... Lancaster, maybe you're in the wrong state. Right away, I know someone's mm -hmm. not from the area when they say it wrong. It's... Yeah, if they if they say it like the GPS does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you might be from Lancaster if you know what dippy eggs are. If you were to go to a diner and order like eggs over medium that are runny in the middle. They call them you take dippy the toast eggs. and you dip it in the egg Yeah, juice. yeah, you cut it up, you know, you dip and then, you know, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You might be from Lancaster if <laughs> you've ever been late for something because you got stuck behind a tractor or a horse and buggy. <laughs> and even if it's not true, it's a great excuse because everybody believes you. Yeah, oh, I'm so sorry I'm late. I'm <laughs> stuck behind a horse and buggy. Totally believable. <laughs> wow. Um, you know that a Wilbur Bud trumps a Hershey kiss any day of the week. Do you That's know what a Wilbur right. Bud is? Drum roll, uh, there it is. These are Wilbur Buds, they even... Now, yeah, do you have the mixed bag? So there's yeah. both milk, chocolate, and semi-sweet, and that's my favorite bag right there. God, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, and here's the last one. You don't even think twice about names of towns like Intercourse, Blue Ball, or Paradise. Mm-hmm, yep. <laughs> All holiday. of the non-Lancastrians have <laughs> lots of questions now. Let's Call just, us. let's Call just us. leave it at this. <laughs> All three of those are in Amish country, okay? Can we just, that's it, right? This that's is good holiday to topic conversation at your table to keep people entertained. Mm -hmm. If you would like more information <laughs> on just how wonderful and unique and perhaps quirky Lancaster is, we are your people, right? Yeah, that's what that. <laughs> Lancaster Local Secrets, Lit It's Local Secrets, and now you'll have your own printout of this if that's you'd right. like. That's right, yeah, we, we do actually have a few more, so if you want to let us know, we can see. Well, hope you enjoyed the few laughs today, and see me on the road make sure you quiz me on a few or tell me the ones that we've missed we'd love to hear more that's right and if you're late for that dinner party 
<laughs> Don't forget your the new excuse. The horse buggy. <laughs> <laughs> or a tractor. Totally legit. It does. 